I guess it's just a developing year to see. Like we've had some great surprises. Like Stanley Johnson came out of nowhere. He's playing great right now. Remember um, when you trolled them? <laughs> I, <laughs> you trolled them. <laughs> I said it last year. Bro, I like Issa. Issa, Issa said it. Bro. Men was killing Issa me in the comments. Fan. Men's were killing me in the comments. I said oh, yeah, it last year. Eating you off in the comments. <laughs> they were killing me. Issa I said it. Saw Guys are nice. Them. They were dishonoring your basketball legs. Literally, literally, <laughs> literally. Nah, literally. He, I think he, he, he played with hustle and heart. And then... Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then Boucher, obviously, like great, great oh, contract. Yeah. He's only paid like seven point five million, I think. Yeah, he's ridiculous. Sweating. Yeah, he's he going. could be, he could be six man, most improved, defensive, like. Well, Mukhtar, be honest, be honest. Yeah. Do you think he's gonna keep this up for the whole season? Boucher, oh, I think Boucher. so because <laughs> he had glimpses of this last yeah, Mukhtar. year. Mm, but we yo, just didn't have. Yeah, yeah, have, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But he just my didn't only... have enough playing time. Yeah. <laughs> Mukhtar, I was... Yeah, my only issue with that is, like, he's just shooting way too many threes. For for center, he's shooting way too many threes. He can make them. the only reason why, like... Yeah, your face was all time done. <laughs> That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> But he said, end of the day, but I, we we all trust in him. He yeah. pulled the miracle in 2019, exactly. and uh, let's say he has my <laughs> lifetime trust. He, he pulled the miracle with Rudy Gay trade, like he's he, he yeah, he got hit. All right, Rudy Gay, pack it up. Yeah, the Rose, the Rose and pack it up. Yeah. Katie, pack Wait, yo, it Prince, up. what did you want to say? Yeah. You want to finish it? No, I can't. Did you, want, did you have something? I yep. can't even say anything after that. Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah bro. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. This, is, this is a Raptor topic, right? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, let, yeah let Raptors. Me this, let me say this. Let me say this. Number one. Um, Kyle Lowry is the greatest <laughs> Raptor of all time. He's the greatest Raptor of yeah. all time. But no it's, one's time, it's time to pack it up. It's time to, <laughs> it's time to pack it up. <laughs> what? For, it's time to pack it up. Mm-hmm. Nah. <laughs> pack his bags? Yeah. yeah. But that's the point like, if he's willing. I think I think he would be willing to to go to a like a, a good team. I think he I I, I don't think like he just to wants Philly. to stay in Toronto his whole career. I think if you trade him to a good team, he's willing to to, to leave. So to I think Masai mm-hmm. either before the, the deadline or this offseason. Probably bet it'd be he'd have more value if it was before the deadline. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, like Clippers are like up there too with the competition because he is exactly what the Clippers need a guy Plus who will do miss, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally, yeah, he, he he's has, like he the Ibaka and Kawhi over there. He's one of the best locker room guys, also, because he'll bring everyone together, he'll make yeah. everyone like sacrifice for the end goal. Mm-hmm. He knows how to win defensively, offensively, he sees the game. He knows how to get people going. He's a true point guard, honestly. So wherever he goes, agent? huh? Mm-hmm. Agent? I'm his agent. Though. Don't worry. I got <laughs> if I was oh, allowed, I went to the Clippers. <laughs> <laughs> you sold me. You hey, sold hey, me. Hey, hey. <laughs> I went to the Clippers. Who, who, who are the Clippers? Who do they give us? Or do they just give us bare picks? Just give us cash. I have any more picks? <laughs> oh, oh, so we don't, don't need that. Right. Don't be that <laughs> bad, bad, Respect, don't respect, respect don't the greatest raptor of all yo, time. To be honest, yo, to be honest, this may sound this may sound weird. If I'm trading Larry to the Clippers, I may put Lou Williams on that trade. Because the way Ty Lue is playing Lou Williams... Chill, yeah, yeah. Chill. We, 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 we had, we had not like Lou, right. though. My side did not like Lou. We no. My side traded him. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, that's true. You remember we had Lou? He even gave him a contract. Yeah, he didn't even give it. He said, bye. He said, you want money? Look after yourself. Wait, my side was there at that time when he Yeah, he was there. Yeah, he didn't give him a contract, man. How long, how long was he there for? And that's when we got swept by Washington, fam. Yeah. yeah. He came Masai, in 2014, right? Yeah, 2014. That year, 2013-14. Mm-hmm. And then he tried, oh. well, he let Lou walk the year after in 2015. He said, go mm-hmm. look after yourself. He, he got rid of Barnani. Over there. <laughs> the door's there. Three more pasta. Three more pasta. Oh, my God. He got rid of Barnani. He got rid of that. That commercial He turned He turned Barnani into Kawhi, basically. Wait, he's the one that like, he's the one that got rid of Bargnani. Yeah, because that Bargnani oh, pick go. is Jacopo, oh. 
And then Yaka <laughs> Pirtle turned into that pick cool. turned into Yaka Pirtle and the Rosen for Kawhi. So it worked wow. out. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, but none of you guys are, do you guys feel any type of way with the fact that Masai didn't trade Piaf Pascal Siakam earlier when he had the champion? We have no. oh, like you mean like last Chill, year? what? Like last you year? Remember when you remember they when they were talking about Pascal getting Paul George here so he could keep Kawhi Laura and then you bring him Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That trade. Yeah. Anybody disappointed oh. that that didn't go through? No, yeah. yeah, honestly, I, I would have done that trade to be honest. Really? Wait, wait, who was I, on the Raptors mad. side? Wait, 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 who was on the Raptors side? It was Van Vliet, Siakam, and Lowry, I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, yeah, for, yeah, no, yeah no, Paul no. George, for Paul George and Westbrook. Yeah, I don't. If yeah, I have to put Van Vliet and Lowry, and then yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, so it would have been Kawhi, Westbrook, and Paul George. We would have got pandemic Ooh. P. We don't need that. Yeah, you don't no, need. I'm that. taking George, that trade respect. though. You taking it? Respect PG. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we tell, we put you say respect PG. No, respect him, man. He's, he's yeah, out for vent. He didn't hear him. It's not a PG. It's not a PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, my fault. He, he, he got his trainer. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, he got an MVP trainer. Yeah, wait, His shoulders, wait. his shoulders are good, man. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Yo, 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 this thing. Hold on, hold on. Yo, this thing. Uh, Paul George, but look at what Siakam's been doing, you know. Yeah, yeah, Siakam's Siakam, been playing good. No, do don't do that. Right don't now, no, he's Siakam, playing yeah, good. I'm, I'm waiting for Siakam too. What? Like, Siakam the last five games, he's playing good. good. Yeah, you know, he's, he's playing, playing good. good. Yeah, like, he's, he's, a, he's a trade asset, though. Those, those, those. What? Even, he's not a number one. Don't do that. I don't know. Wait, wait. I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys been watching the games. Raptors, Raptors right now are three and three. And you look at a lot of the games that they're in, because the players were talking about how they could potentially be six and four if they actually close out the game because they have leads, can't keep leads. And a big part of why they can't keep leads has been Siakam, if we're going to be honest about it. No, no, you have to, the, to blame. Okay, go ahead. Michael. No, I'm just saying, when you, get to the end, when you get to the end of the game, like, you, you, you guys have watched the game, it's like, um, it's like nonsense. We, have, did, we had the lead all... Oh, no, 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 Issa, right? Issa, let him finish. Let him finish. Wait, go and on, then go. I have to that. Oh, yeah, well, I, I have something to say after you, for you say. Go ahead, I have, a, I have another Go rebuttal ahead. after Prasa's rebuttal. Go ahead. Right, go ahead but, <laughs> but, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm, yeah, but like, like I said, just like if you look at the Raptors game, they could have won a lot of these games, but obviously towards the end, there's something that happens where nobody's able to really take control of the game. The ball's given to Siakam. He does spin move and then nothing happens. <laughs> so, yeah, Chris, you can move. <laughs> no, no, because my, my issue with that is number one, Nick, because Nick Nurse is the one that's calling these plays out, right? And obviously, we obviously we all know in this chat that Siakam is not that guy. He was never that guy. Even last, even when he won the, the um, championship year, he was not the guy to take these type of shots. And you have two shot creators on your team with Van Vliet and Larry. Even if those guys' shots are going off, I rather I rather bank on myself. Or, uh, I rather bank on Larry and Van Vliet to actually take the shot rather than Siakam doing it. Yeah. Spin move and what's not in the paint. Yeah, I've noticed this guy's be taking game mornings like he's Colby or something. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? No, no, no. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> what's going on? No, but it's not going on. Go in and out every time. What's going on? No, yo, you can understand that, but my, my issue is that. Yo, oh, you're Siakam, right. I'd rather have Larry and Van Vliet. Uh, yeah, but Siakam, Siakam, development, Siakam development to this point hasn't really, like, Elevate. He's been the same guy. Just Since like, 2019, yeah. Because of the uh, scenario that, because of the scenario that um, the Raptors actually put him on, that's why he needs to do what he's doing right now. But mm-hmm. to be realistic, Siakam is not the guy to be doing this type of stuff. And obviously, a lot of people have been saying that. But hey, man, who am I? I think he's trying to get his value up. I uh, uh, you done? You done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, right, let, let me say, and y'all are some fake ass. <laughs> Fans, I'm sick. <laughs> Listen, bro, this guy Siakam had an amazing season last year. The Raptors went off. They overperformed crazy. And then he kind of dipped in the playoffs. And kind y'all of, turned kind on him. Kind of. Y'all, no, no. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I speak? Is it my turn? All right. All right. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. You told me it's my turn. Listen, Siakam, look at Siakam's development. That first, I think it was his first year, uh, DeRozan's last year. He was whatever. 
And then Kawhi came. He was an excellent number two. And then Kawhi leaves. His first year, first year being a number one, he overperformed crazy. And then in the playoffs, he kind of, you know, he he underperformed, like against Boston because they Jalen Brown kind of locked him down. And then y'all turn on him so quick. His first year, his first year being a number one, y'all turn on him the first sign of adversity. Y'all <laughs> all switch up. All wait, wait, how old is he? How old is he? Way, bro. Wait, uh, wait, uh, how can I switch chance. up if I was on this bad way again to begin with? Listen, bro, all I'm, I'm never, saying is it was I'll, his first I'll, year being a number one. He overperformed crazy. The yeah, playoffs, bro. he gets put on loss. Bro, Y'all, don't do that. But I knew, but like, I, I knew, on him. But like, I knew regular season playoffs is night and day. That's why, like, you know, he, he went nuts in the regular season. But playoffs, that's when real life came. The game slows down. Come he can't on, do the, that fast break spin move that he does. Listen, he it's his first year off. being the he number one that. option. But I agree. But he's I not, agree. Yeah, he's not that guy. Yeah, that's he's what I'm not, saying. He's, he's not, not. He's the not type number of guy one. Yeah, he's to not be a one. number one option. But yeah. let's he's be real. Number two, though. Wait, 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 let's let's be real. Hold on, Bunty, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gil, do you think Siakam can be uh, a number one option on a winning team? Like that's my that's my life. point. That's my point. Let's be realistic. Not every every team doesn't have a clear number one guy. Siakam is good enough to be a guy, the number one guy, and then. We in make the, season, the, right? the the in the, the playoffs, second round. You need a number one guy. You need a go to in the playoffs. Yeah, you need a like go-to I said, guy. let's be realistic. Wait, 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 wait. No, but wait, 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 wait. What what's the main goal though? What the do you mean goal for the Raptors? No, for every organization that's a winner, sure. And to hmm. win a championship, you always need that guy to actually like get you over the hump. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I can that guy to do it. So it's yes, like, why but... do you want him to beat that guy? I, I didn't say I wanted to be that guy. I said, oh, no, I'm just saying. I'm just on saying. Oh, no, but, but the reason why I was really disappointed is though I, I knew he was not going to put up the numbers that he put in the pub. It's the way that he got shut down. I was like, wow. You know? That's, That's why I was disappointed. Though. Everyone has a flame out. Every great player has a flame out. Not a great player. Though. No, no, I like not that. A great not, player, not, though. Like that. <laughs> not a great player. Not a great player. Not a player. He's not a great player. He's a good player. So he said, oh, a guy like what Magic, LeBron, I like to have flame out. Okay, okay. That's an all time great. <laughs> he's a great player, though. He's a Gucci, very don't he's do a that, great man. player. Man, only, man, this guy only has one all star appearance. Where are you going? With this, man? <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Bro. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like I said, he listen, Masai is Masai. Yeah, like, no, I'm trusting need, him. 100% we need we him. need Pascal Siakam to be on the team, and then yeah. we can bring a we we can bring a number. If that's he's fine. he's one of the if he's a number two, look yeah. what he did as a number two. Yeah, that's fine. That's he's fine. Yeah. Two. I'm just saying. Yeah. All I'm saying, saying Pascal on the team. All I'm saying is none of that guy, and the way he performed in playoffs was really disappointing. I'm not saying he should have dropped thirty. He just no, can't be a regular guy in the playoffs. Like the way he's just running around. The way yeah, yeah, but the way the way some people talk about him now, it's like. It's like he's Bargnani 2.0. No, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, not, yo, not, I'm not yo, saying he's Bargnani. To yeah. be honest, to be honest, I really personally feel if you treat the Akram for the role there, the Raptors will be way better. Hell no. Hell no. What is, are we trolling? Yeah, this, what is, no, it's not a troll thing. What is, Mohammed all of a sudden? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack it up, pack it up. Come on, pack it up. Okay, I, we don't need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just, but just to close it off, just two more things about the Raptors. Obviously, there's the aspect of now they, they live in Florida. Because they can obviously mm. play out of Toronto, uh, Mukhtar. Do you feel like that impacts also the way the team has been playing? I think so, because like the, when you're at like a home arena, you expect to see your own fans. Like I know every other team in NBA might not have fans, but like if you listen to the Raptors games, they're not their fans; they're booing them. That's one mm-hmm. thing, and then the <laughs> second thing, is, yeah. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine you get to come home and you're getting booed in your own arena. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I'm taking vacations like Kyrie. If that's the case, I love you going to Miami, man. And it, it, it's Tampa. It's Tampa too, man. It's it's, it's Florida, but it's still Tampa. They, yeah. It ain't mm-hmm. the nicest city in the Because I heard, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, Van Vliet was beefing with the fans too. Oh, I like, saw, yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Was it Duncan Robinson? Duncan Robinson, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, he, he's he's like shut the f up or whatever. He's like put your mask on or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but that's also the thing. That's why I think we we started off the season slow. 
We have the best. I don't care. We have the best fan base in the NBA. And the the team feeds off the fan base the most. So I think not having fans. Yeah. Yeah. I think not having fans, like, it's why we let some of the games slip slip from us. I personally uh, believe. No, this season I have no expectation. I don't care about that. That and the uh, Pascal Kobe fadeaway. I don't know why I did that. Uh, fair. Yeah, I'd rather have I'd rather fair. have no more politics. When did you get that animation? <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, literally. When did you purchase that animation? I was so shocked. Yeah. <laughs> the wall. You're Stanley dunking the ball. This guy's VC like that. What? Uh, <laughs> um, just to close off this. Uh, Wrap this topic. Do you have anything to add on uh, Chris Boucher? Because obviously he's been snapping. Mukhtar was raving about him way back then. Now we kind of see him flourishing. His game getting better. Uh, uh, I'm talking to Bunty, uh, uh, but he can be, he can become an he can become an elite player also just because at his height to be taking shots from that far he gets how better handle I mean, and everything. I, I don't know, but, but I remember himself. somebody was trying somebody was trying to guard his shot. You can't guard his shot because his release is so high. So he could be an elite player. You don't think? That Chris Boucher could turn into a great player. Uh, shout out! First off, shout out to Mukhtar. You know Mukhtar. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you know, you flopped on that Stanley yeah. take, but the Chris Boucher take it, it puts yeah, you right. That was me. I called Siakam. I called. I called. Yeah, yeah. Shout, yeah, shout out to Mukhtar. But honestly, shout out. Shout I think because a lot of people are saying, "Yo, start, start Chris Boucher, start him, start him." I think Nick Nurse isn't starting him just so he could win Six Man of the Year. I think that's why I'm yeah, trying to get an award. I like, and you could play him like uh, they used to play Lou Will. You don't start him, and then you bring him in like three minutes, four minutes into the game. It's yeah. it doesn't really make it's not that big of a deal. So, but honestly, Chris Boucher, I see him. I think he's gonna be like our our. He's gonna be. He's part of our future. He's part of our future core. And he's he's, he's part of the untouchables. And Even he's though he's not, twenty-eight, like, but mm-hmm. huh? <laughs> he's he's, he's like twenty-eight. 26. He's 28 or something. Yeah, like, that's what I... Yo, bro. <laughs> Wait, he's turning 29 or... or, or he, I think he's turning 28. What? Time out, time out, time out. This guy looks like a kid. This is fine. <laughs> This is his prime. This is his prime. Yeah. Don't do no, that. but he's, he's the same thing as uh, Siakam. He started... He is 28 right now. He started playing basketball, I think, at, like, 19. Well, how does Siakam... Oh. Siakam is 25. So no, both those guys. We love, we love, we love. He's 26 turning 27. I'm we not doing 26 turning no 27. Listen, don't kill me in the comments. No cap? I, I thought, no cap. I thought that guy was like 21. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> I thought he was, I thought oh, he was at so. least 24, bro. Yeah, I thought he was like 25. My hope that's is, my okay, I see what Russ is talking about now. Well, yo, that's my issue. That's our talking, that's our raving about Boucher when this man's 30. <laughs> no, that, he just told you he's no, not that, 30. That, he no, just no, told no, you he's no, not clearly 30. Clearly, you know his age. He just told you. <laughs> bro, he clearly knows his age. That's why he's stabbing. He's in his prime. No, no, but let me ask you something. <laughs>